in this clip, I'm going to discuss a little bit about the group applications uh, that are possible with four fingers. Uh, you know, coming back to a little bit of history, briefly, I was uh, playing in Joe Zawinul's band when I was quite young, and there was a there was there was a little bit of a problem for me in the two years that I worked with him. The very first year, I was only really playing with two fingers. Although I was developing the four finger technique in the background, and um, you know, in the background meaning that when we were on tour in my hotel room, I would develop this stuff so that I can actually eventually use it. So for the very first year, I only played with two fingers. The problem with the two fingers for me, specifically, is that I didn't have the musculature or maybe even the brain power to accomplish playing with two fingers at you know above certain speeds. So in Joe's band, it was very difficult because we played very fast tempos at times, and I had to learn how to, you know, stay in sync with the band. Uh, obviously, you can come up with cool solutions by just playing with two fingers. Just take a break every once in a while, playing a long note, and that should work fine. However, I wanted to be able to get up to par with the rest of the musicians. So the four finger thing started to come in handy the second year I played with Joe because I, I really worked on it and by the second year I really I, I started bringing it out into the band that it was much more efficient much more effective and there was no insecurity from my end because I was basically being able to hang with the band so the idea was to essentially play lines that Joe Zawinul liked which obviously came from Jocko right so uh, you know so that's at a slower tempo, but if you put it up to speed, you're gonna actually, that's even a, a moderate tempo. the reason for me having to develop this so from a group standpoint I would actually say that playing with two fingers is a little fatter you know in terms of the texture but playing with four fingers definitely gets you up to speed the important thing obviously playing with the four fingers is you have to make sure that your notes are pretty consistent um, the sound of each note has to be as cons consistent as possible and um, but it works it's great uh, one of the few things that uh, that people don't understand about this particular technique is that for the most part it's ghost notes and you decide to play notes from time to time and so you're actually getting a very percussive sound for the most part so you're getting and you decide to play a note in the middle of that so Mostly classic. Uh, if you'd like to see a slower example of that, it goes in this way. Even a little slower, just so you understand. So that's how you can kind of create some grooves with this technique. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> 